Oh, okay, there we go, we got it, perfect. All right, welcome back to the playthrough. All right, we took like a three hour meditation. Yeah, Ansem is my bitch now. I thought it, I, oh God, I we thought- We grinded it out a little bit. I thought like every scenario, every potential attack, it is now in my mind. <laughs> I'm ready to take this bitch You want me down. to tell you the tips, the tips and tricks? You see this new keyblade? That's the only tip I need. <laughs> except for the one in my pants, Ricky. We got this. Just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> I'm gonna, and also I equipped all so, elixirs in my potions, like, is my usables. Okay, in second phase, keep your distance. My throat's all fucked up. Apparently I'm sick and we didn't realize it. And it's just hitting them so now. So it's getting worse now. So if I sound like a fucking teenage girl or something, my voice is like... I sound like a teenage girl for like half my life, dude, so I can tell you that much. <laughs> you look like one too. Oh my god! Ricky, stop drinking your alcohols, Ricky. You're being mean. I know. I'll, they said it would disinfect my throat, so... The um, doctor prescribed it. Okay, so doctor second Daniels. phase, when he's throwing the rings at you, just keep your distance and guard parry that shit, because it'll fuck him up. When he's in his last phase, when you're jumping and flying to avoid his little dashes, when he does the final explosion that has all the little pings everywhere, fly into the stairway right there, you see it? There'll be an invisible wall there, but if you fly into it, his little things don't spawn against it. So you won't get hit by any of them. Oh god. Oh god, he just psyched me out so hard. Oh god. I did not mean to start this, but it's kinda like how I have to live now. Here we go, here. Stairwell. Not that part. And the third one, when oh. it's like a, he does like a mass explosion that's unavoidable. It's supposed to be unavoidable, but it actually is avoidable because they didn't think it through. <laughs> Silly Japos. Hold on. You see, you reflected it that time, and it did a shitload of damage. I got a fuckload of tech. Hey, boy. You're getting your ass. <laughs> All right. So now you dash and float. And then fly in the corner of something to avoid that. Oh. Because it only, it doesn't generate in certain corners. So once you find the sweet spot, it becomes impossible to hit you. Because he's going to spam that shit now that you got him at last health. Hey! See? Wow, I don't know how you figured that out. Goddamn. Uh, when I was playing my playthrough on Pro... I lost to this bitch about 50 fucking times. So you got the lay of the land. <laughs> yeah, it took a long ass... I mean, I figured that trick out in the first, like, three or four times. But he was just so aggressive that it fucking, like, it didn't matter. Like, that wasn't enough to save me. It wasn't until I realized that I needed to have arrow on me at all times. First fucking try, Ricky. Exactly, I told After you. After five tries of failure. <laughs> <laughs> I got now you got Ragnarok, which is a sick-ass combo. And then... And the new movie coming out. Ragnarok's the one that does like the shitload of beams that come out of your Keyblade and all home in on a, an enemy, I think. But now you can go get the new Keyblade too. Darkness. Are they frozen? I don't know. They're all. And now they're gone. Oh. <laughs> is that supposed to happen? And now they're there again. What the fuck is going on? The animators didn't think it through. Maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie. We gotta go wake up Kyrie. Uh, I would fucking bleed my throat trying to do any voices right now. Gorsh! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, you're breaking my balls, bro. <laughs> I mean, a gorsh! I don't know how to do a goofy impression. I wish. Or Donald for that. One goes. <laughs> Sounds like I'm just like trying to clear my throat and also sprinkle a chicken at the same time. Oh, shoot, that's a dark healing. I don't know why they don't let you have it. Is he about to use Sudoku on himself? Is he about to commit Sudoku? No. Oh. I think he like realizes that he has to use it because it's the one that opened it. So he has to use that one to... Alright, fuck. I don't remember this part. Oh yeah! Sudoku! He has fucking Kairi's heart inside of him. He's gotta get it out. So that's how, he, that's how she comes back to life. And the pretty piano music. I knew how to play this in high school. I played it on a... The oh, marimba. What the hell's a marimba? The big keyboard instrument that percussionists play with the mallets. Oh, okay. Like the largest version. That's cool. It's just like a giant xylophone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a xylophone except usually it's not metal. It's wood. Oh, okay. So it has like a softer sound. A marimba. 
<laughs> That's creepy. She overrides immediately. Goddamn. Um, and now you're heartless because you gave up your heart for her heart or whatever. I don't fucking get it. I thought her heart was just residing in him, but then it turns out that they share the same heart, which is why they're like in weeaboo love with each other. But then she like reconnects with you. I don't fucking know. It's weird. But it explains the whole like. Does she know what's going on this whole time? No, she's. She. I mean, so last time she remembers, she was on the island. And then she got sent into Sora, and then she woke up here? For the most part, yeah. How fucking trippy would that be if you woke up in the middle of, like, a dark castle with a giant... Yeah, and, like, like, a fucking talking duck and dog, or, like... Roar! Follow us. No. It'd be the wrong neighborhood, bitch. I won't let him go! Oh, yeah. So, <sighs> you have awakened at last, princess. It's not where it gets dark, but anyway. The keyhole is now... And he's tan as fuck. Your is that purpose. the heart thing on his chest? Is it a tattoo? <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like, like it's, it's not connected to anything. Like a necklace, sir. Stopping all by ourselves. Considering you guys got fucking bitch slapped out of the stage earlier. You won't use me for this. Riku. Gotta hate Riku. You gotta run. The heartless are coming. So if I remember correctly, that Ansem right there is not the actual Ansem. It's a different iteration. He's like Ansem's apprentice or something that just stole his name when he became Heartless. That's, I think that's his extra convolution now, not kind of. Because Ansem's like an old ass man that like is like Team Mickey and shit. So he's on Mickey's team? Like him and Mickey are homies. What the fuck? Mi that's why Mickey knew like what the fuck to do when shit started going down. Because him and Ansem had been working together for a while. <laughs> oh, this is amazing! Yeah. I love the little walk cycle. I just imagine this is what all Heartless do in their time off. <laughs> the dramatic music playing while I'm doing nothing. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness. I want to stay this guy forever. I wish I could do this attack. <laughs> you can't understand how much like how much joy I'm having being a heartless bastard. Oh, no. I don't think that matters. I'm trying to... I think you're supposed to go down to where that fountain was. Oh, is that this way? Yeah. So I think it, it might be that door right there. My little eyes. Oh, so cute. Ever found out what like those antennas are for? Am I supposed to be kind of like bug like or? Oh, he's sneaking. Oh, he's sneaky. I don't know why Sora, the fucking god Keyblade owner. Turns into like the most basic heartless whenever he gets turned into heartless. He doesn't turn into Dark Sora. Oh fuck, I just went in a circle. Am I supposed to go up top? Uh I'm so lost. Maybe jump like all the way down? Just jump off the edge. Oh yeah. So do Jump down there. That's the first stop. Okay. No, that ain't right. Uh, yeah, I think you still have to jump off the edge again. Again? To go to the next level down, yeah. It has to be, because there's, like, even if you did all this, and it's letting you, there's no way back up, because you can't activate shit. That's a member of the segment being stolen. It looks like he's, like, dancing to the beat of the music. Harry, why are you so... Leave who behind? Leave Riku and Sora? They dead, bitch. You don't even know. I don't know why they're so scared of a single heartless. Like, see, Donald got dick. <laughs> Sora goes like, he starts bapping me on the head. Yeah. <laughs> Should explain why he's been getting his ass kicked this whole game. If that's how he's been fighting the heartless. I know, right? I'm scared shit out of me. <laughs> Fucking guinea pigs.
Maybe they're just not threatened by him anymore. You know what I mean? Is that you? Like the tiny ones? Oh, never mind. It Look. might have something to do with the fact that you're not there anymore. Because the whole thing is like the Keyblade's the only thing that can defeat them. Oh! So if they're not like they immediately around you, oh, yeah, yeah. then they don't have like the power. That's like an R effect? Yeah. Does that mean like all of like the other Disney characters that fight alongside you can't do shit against the Heartless until you show up? I'm trying to think of like a scene where they that. definitively kill one, but I guess you do see like Leon in the hotel like fucks one of them up or something. I'm not sure. Maybe it has something to do with like they can defeat them, but they can't release the hearts. So it's just like all. So they'll just come back. They couldn't have more threatening heartless to scare us off. Like the basic ones. I'm not leaving without Bell. Go! The heartless are coming. Like the laziest mouth sink. The that's, heartless are coming. That's normal like, Japanese shit. He looks like a nutcracker. Have you ever noticed every single anime, the mouth is literally just opening like a puppet? They never do like. Tell me. What unless it's a sound effect, like saying "ooh." Oh, yeah. Other than that, it's li because they know that it's going to be translated into other languages. So the darkness is do? I mean, it's a decent enough job. You know, like even there. Comical. They just open and close, that's it. And she's still talking after she finishes. Seal the keyhole, right? Maybe. But no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. It's like uh um, it's called the early uh speed racer. Yeah. You gotta go say maha <laughs> Or they added like aha uh -huh, just to make sure it makes sense. Or, yeah, to keep the mouth because the mouth movement was too much. Oh, that's too silly. Course. It's smart when you think about it to just do shit like that and pull it off, especially back then when they didn't know any better. And they just make it into like its own thing. It was a trick that could only last for so long, though. But they didn't change the method after people figured it out. You <laughs> can. We were in Hollow's Bastion just a second ago, and now we're in Traverse Town. Okay. Is Kyrie there? Yeah, she is. Okay, so we're, um... Fuck. Alright, Kyrie, my long hood childhood friend. I'm gonna leave you with these complete group of strangers. Especially Biker Man here. And you guys can all share a bed together. That sounds like fun. Makes you wish you were still with the Heartless, doesn't it? Do you remember what he said to do? No, I don't remember shit. Maybe if I talk to him again. Did you ever get another fucking... Block? Dummy block? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, like, you go back to Hollow Bastion, then what would happen? There would be... You already fought the dragon, you already fought Ansem. I have to go to the world's end soon, don't I? Yeah, that's why I'm like, world. eventually somebody has to give you the path to do that. Oh shit, everyone's tough now. Yeah, they're all like, mega versions now. No, I'm saying like these used to be the basic bitches, but now they got the hollow bashy guy showing up. Yeah. That's what I meant by oh. mega versions. Oh, I thought you were talking about they were stronger versions of They're the all same. like mega heartless as opposed to just the minions. Oh, look at my health bar now. Best ability, Ricky. Can't tell me otherwise. Actually no, strike rate is. I'll take it back. I'm dashing through people. So cool. So what if they move slightly out of the way and you miss? I guess we gotta figure out where we're gonna go. I have the strategy guide at home. I'll hear it back. Just go grab it real quick. And even with the strategy guide, I never got the final keyblade. Well, it's because it's a fucking grind fest. And especially in this version. Because, like, there's all kinds of secret versions of Heartless in this version of the game that weren't in the original. Oh, damn. How many times they spawn in this whole courtyard? Just trying to get some XP here and practice my abilities. So, what justifies when it does, like, the... Like, the orb combo? Like, the one where it is, like, a small explosion? Is it random? I can't? 
Uh, I think it's maybe something to do with the type of enemy you're fighting. Oh, I never equipped that new one I got. Ragnarok. How much is it? Four. Come on. MP haste is probably what you want, though. I can get this with my tech boosts. Maybe my guard, because I don't use it much. Where's the other? But now you're still gonna have one left over. Okay, I get MP haste and you dodge some of this too. Uh. Fuck guard. Never use it anyway. <laughs> All about rolling. Dark Souls. <laughs> Did we do a recording of Bloodborne a long time ago? We did. Yeah. We got my ass With kicked. Julio. And it was you and Julio playing and you guys like never got past the second First boss. boss. This is the one on the bridge. I don't think we could beat that one. Oh wait, I did. We got stuck on the werewolf one. Yeah. The werewolf guy. God damn. That was really early in the game. I haven't played it much on my own, but I've gotten past that shit. <laughs> I was like, I ain't that bad. That game is just too stressful for me. Like, I thought it was cool aesthetically. Oh like, yeah. It just felt a cool. Victorian time. What was? What were we in? Park City. Yeah. See if he has something for you. He's the only person I could think of to talk to in this town that would make a difference. Hey. Yeah. Secret waterway. There you go. Now Kyrie's gonna be in the secret waterway. And we're gonna have a heart to heart talk. I think she gives you a keyblade. Ooh. It's called like promise or some shit. Kept promise. I can't remember. I promise. Oh. 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 oh sorry. I Eris was talking about something about like. Even though we were shutting uh, keyholes, they were getting stronger. For a Is there any explanation behind that? Like, even though we're doing something that's supposed to be beating them, they're just getting stronger for it. What we're doing is like, or like opening them up so we can defeat them kind of way. Like we're sealing the holes so that I guess they can't flood it anymore. But, but it's not them. necessarily like weakening them. I mean, they're still developing it, Kingdom Hearts itself. Well, I'll with this mirror here. Oathkeeper. That's what it's fucking oh, called. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that one being pretty good. But I remember not using it much because I got the one from Hollow Bastion like a mirror ash mirror. No, I think it's like... Like a magic the one. one you have, Oblivion, is like more of a physical one, and Oathkeeper is more of a magical oh, one. Right. Like so it depends on your like spec. A plus two. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I ain't gonna lie, that's some gay shit right there. <laughs> Man the fuck up or get the fuck out, bitch. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... Hell no. When I turned into a heartless, fuck Riku. You've been inside me. <laughs> Time for me to get inside you. <laughs> I was lost oh in the goodness. darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was... Why the fuck I wear such stupid clothing? <laughs> but then His clothing is very Disney. Your voice. Oh yeah? You brought me back. Also patriotic. I, just forget it, <laughs> I couldn't. Murka. That's it. Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go! 
You can't go. Oh my god, you just screw him out. <laughs> because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. Bitch. You can't go alone. You didn't do shit. <laughs> Bitch, you were just inside my heart this whole time. <laughs> Fucking clogged artery. Talk about carrying the team. Like. <laughs> I can't help. Oh, get him! You'd kind of be in my way. Oh, exactly. Oh shit! <laughs> Keeping it real. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass first. <laughs> okay. And then she busts out a keyblade and beat your ass. Oh my gosh! It's that little thing that she my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. My goodness. Don't worry. I will. Are you bitch right now? But you'll be pretty later. Play that much. Nah, she never gets pretty. What? I think she looks weird as fuck in the second game when she's like supposed to be like sixteen or some shit, fifteen. I'm always with you. Her voice actress is hot as shit though. I think it's just because she looks so much like my high school crush, <laughs> and she also has the same like the same name basically. Kyrie. So, something similar. Was it like Kara or something? I don't want to say it in case she's listening <laughs> she's right now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Love you, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she was the bay before I know what a bay was. Dude, I was such a player though. This one time I tapped on her shoulder and ran away. <laughs> Pro plays, <Rick. laughs> That's some straight shit right there. That didn't make her panties wet, Ricky. I don't know what will. Use on Ashley. I gave you permission. <laughs> Fuck, I should probably should be paying attention. Is this, do I actually get to play as this guy? No. Not in this game. Got his name for a bit. You play him in the Eyeliner, next game. Eyeliner, man. And then you play him in a... Uh, I think you don't play him again until re-chain of memories. Not, not chain of memory. Chain of memory? Recoded. That's the one. God, you got some huge feet, though. Or maybe Dream Drop Distance. I don't fucking remember which one came first. How many games they got now? Oh. them. Like seven. Is this supposed to be Mickey talking about? Uh, I think so. Raven Pillage Village! Is that from South Park? Where he yeah. says that? Oh my goodness. The Jonas Brothers episode. I never saw that one. I just saw some, like, this couple of scenes from it. I was like, holy shit, how did I get away with this? <laughs> like, how did it not get, like, a cease and desist? This is parody? Yeah. Oh, parody. Can't sue somebody for making fun of you. Mer. Oh, that's right, I can't guard anymore. I was like, why can't I guard? Because that part's behind me, Ricky. Only attack from here on out. Alright. You want to check your, uh, your Oath Keeper? That's right, that's right. Less damage. More range, I think. It looks like it might be the same range. Looks cooler though. You get the other one? Hmm? The Oblivion? You never went and got it? I couldn't get back to Hollow Bastion. Oh. Remember, said it was like, I can't let you go back there until you get the specific part. Oh, uh, yeah. God damn, dude, your voice is getting worse by a second. <laughs> Not to make you self conscious. Nope. Wow, this sounds I can't help it. Hmm. Well, it's also because I've been taking, like, swigs of various alcohols. Just drying out your throat. <laughs> so it might be making it worse. It doesn't hurt as much, though. <laughs> That's just the nullifying pain of alcohol. Alright, go ahead. God damn. It's actually just wasting time. I do like the sound effect the Oathmaker makes when people. Like, like, it's different from the others. Alright, fuck. Da, da, da. I'm 
<laughs> I don't even know if it's faster to fly or to walk, but you have to question a lot of things here. You know, beating this game reminds me that I still haven't beaten like any Elder Scroll game. Or any Fallout game at that matter. Oh, I did beat Fallout 4. I never beat like the expansion to like Oh, Fallout I never 3. beat the expansions either. I never beat Skyrim, I never beat Oblivion. It all just felt so, like, not as important when I finally made, like, the big decision that's in that game. Like, everything else? Yeah, yeah. everything else after was like, who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, you have to save my son. It's like, bitch, I just saved, like, 80,000 people. Yeah. I can't really care about your son right now. <laughs> I, I get you, man. We'll do a, a recording of it eventually, when it's not fresh in our minds, I guess. What, Fallout? Yeah. Speedrun. Dude, uh, that would be ruined if I did it, because I know exactly, <laughs> like, I know, I've played those games so many times, I know exactly what Well, that's one of those them. ones that doesn't, need, like, we don't need to rush to beat it. We can just keep Long playing game. and see where it goes, <laughs> like. Alright. Wait, what? It says something about a back road, so you gotta take, I think, the warp point that's next to Traverse Town. Or, um, or do I have not. to install something on my ship? Did you never- You talked to Sid and what did he say? You got- I gotta give you a backdoor blah blah blah? Yeah, but you have to get it at the- Under what? Did okay. we ever get it? Yeah. From the under? Yeah, but I don't think you ever talked to Sid again after that. Uh, fucking Sid. So, hit the accessory shop and that'll put you closer to him. You're right, you're right. My fucking basic ass gummy ship. Still want to create a gummy ship that's just all guns in the front. I call it like the block. It's not that good. It's not? No. We tried it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, like, there's really not much strategy that goes into the gummy ship thing. <laughs> it's not nearly as in depth as I thought it was when I was a kid. Uh, I think the one in the second game is a little more involved, but... Oh, no, there was one in the second it's game. It's hard to remember. I don't remember much about the second game, like, at all, because I haven't played such a long time. Like, I don't remember the final boss with, don't tell me. <laughs> I don't remember almost anything. It's probably gonna come back to me as soon as I start playing it, though. You're right about the... I had the strategy guide for it, so I remember, like, farming the fuck out of, like, the different forms. I wanted to like get every form of Sora there was, I guess. I only remember there being like a casting one, a dual wielding one, and that's about it. Oh, uh, there's like five. I know, that's the only one I remember now. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what the casting one did. It made you have like unlimited MP. Like an MP. Uh, okay. And you had a ranged basic attack. That was like a machine gun coming out of your keyboard. Yeah, that's cool. It was one of my favorites because you just you got to be blue. Ooh. It's like arcane. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I was looking at the Unreal like marketplace, and they have like an entire animation set of like uh, like a mage, like a flying mage, mm -hmm. like all arcane stuff. I was like, fuck, that'd be really cool for a game. Cause you don't really see that too often for like mm -hmm. play style, like to actually play as like a like a flying mage. It's not not like a big game. I hate looking at the fucking Unreal Marketplace though. I look at it and I'm like, I'm gonna take a gander of like whatever else he's making. It's like entire forest buy set or something like that, or like entire forest set. It's like everything you, like, you need to make a forest. Okay. Like, Damn. Well, yeah, but How many hours don't there? people get like insulted for using that shit? I don't know. I imagine so. So that's why I never bought it. I don't know if they get insulted, because it has to do a lot of like, like the same people that make mo like the, mo the models for the forest aren't the same ones that are make like placing it in composition. You know what I mean, so like using someone else's assets and making an environment isn't like it's still impressive. It shows that you know how to place something that someone else has made. I just I've read like game reviews where people were like, "This is oh shit, some unreal like." 
marketplace. Person. Like, yeah, marketplace garbage. They just like bought a bunch of assets and put them together and made a shitty game out of it. And so, like, maybe if the gameplay was amazing, then people wouldn't care. But it's like if your game is just a simple game, which if you don't have any fucking modelers and textures and shit like that, then it's probably gonna be, you know. So it's like this double-edged sword of just like you can't win, like. Yeah. I can imagine someone that's really good at programming that has no modeling, like... But if you're a good programmer, it's not hard to find people that are willing to work with you. Oh, yeah. Like, it's completely impossible the opposite direction. Because programmers are worth so much more. Oh, fuck you, right? What? I don't think that there's like that guy that's like a... It's one of the Newgrounds guys. Uh, is Newgrounds still a thing? Uh, no, back in the day. Like, whenever they're, like, right. Flash games were really big. I think they still land in some respect. But, uh, he was a really good artist. He's one of those big ones, like, the same guy that, like, Stamper, or whatever it is. Or, uh, like the, like the people that make the, like, Castle Crashers, model studios, you know? yeah. Like, before they made big games, they were making, like, Flash games in Newgrounds. And he was a really good artist, but he got, like, Programmers to just make any like idea he had come to life. So he had some way of getting programmers to help work on it. But I guess he had to be like a really promising artist. Oh shit, I might die. I gotta focus. I think it's slow down. But these are all ship parts I'm getting, right? All the crystals? Yeah. I want to make a good ship. I feel like I won't beat this game until I make the best ship or thing. And make it look like a pirate ship or something. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh fuck. Hey, we made it. If I would have died right there at the end, I'd be pretty salty. Okay. We made it. 